Hey, let me give you a heads up on some uh, variations or interesting items. I'm going to talk about the uh, Batmobile Affinity. I'm going to talk about the uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Got an interesting item with the Mustang and Synchro. First, let's start off with the Batmobile Affinity. Now, this, this model was out a long time ago. I haven't seen it in a while. But it um, turns out that there's a variation in the fin. If you look at this fin in the back, um, if you look right here, there's like about four lines in between the in the bottom half right here. About four lines. And then in here, this part here. And then when you look at this one, there's a... There's so many lines in between here that you can't even barely see them. Let me see. There we go. If I get a little glare. So if you look right here in the back part, there's a whole bunch of little lines. We don't know why there's two different versions. Could speculate, but um, this version, by the way, you recognize this, right? These are the Walmart. These are showing at Walmart. Uh, selling out quickly. But uh, this one here has a base code of E04, and the other one has a base code of E10. So for some reason, they were made six weeks apart, and then they used a different fin. I don't know, maybe, or maybe the tooling has both fins in the same, uh, in the same tool when they press them. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But um, I have this older version. See, it has no, no base code. This one's out uh, in I don't know, mid-2000s, but if you look at this one, this one has the, uh, it's the top version with, hey look, one of my gray hairs. Hey, uh, it has a, uh, it's the version with the, a lot of the lines in the fin there, and even in the gap right here, it's got uh, lines in it. Well, that's kind of interesting because that's the, it's the old car, but yet it's the newer version of the fin according to the base codes. Uh, anyways, this car is hard to find as it is, being scooped up. I'd love to get extras myself because it's actually a pretty good track car. What's in the uh, loops? Now see, I got this right here just to show you. See how it rolls freely? Works good in the loops. Love to get extras, but I don't think it's going to happen. So there's a known variation, I got that myself, of the Batmobile Affinity. Now I was kidding uh, in my... Uh, Walmart haul talking about variation. You know that uh, this one here is a super uh, It's got the rubber tires has a different paint job. It has a spectra flame paint job it's Got fl and the difference look it's got flames on the roof just like see the card It's got flames on the roof and in the back it has a th just go this way It's got a th on top. This is the super that you're going to be looking for uh, That is not the known variation. I'm talking about but um, this car here, when it had the color shifters version, the color shifter for shifters version was released with a, uh, a metal pipe right here. See, this is a plastic pipe. I can uh, tailpipe. I can bend it, no problem. Well, people are finding it with a metal pipe, metal engine. So we think it's a. Uh, uh, carry over leftover parts from the color shifters version so keep your eyes open for a metal pipe if you find it that's eh, just a cool find not necessarily sure it's worth anything I've seen a couple sell on eBay for three bucks so not necessarily worth uh, reselling it um, an interesting thing I found I've been picking up extras of the synchro because it's a good track car and uh, you can tell the top one Kind of pinkish. It'd be cool if it was a pink bedlam. You longtime collectors would know what that means. And sometimes you think, ah, oh, it's not that much a difference. Well, you definitely can tell a difference when I get a bunch of these all together. That pink one, that's yeah, definitely a different. It's kind of a cloudy. Now, is it worth anything? No, I'm just pointing it out. I just kind of got one that for some reason. The plastic's a little cloudy, and uh, it's the only one I have like that. And finally, there's a gentleman. Oh, by the way, uh, thanks to Jimmers for pointing out the variation on the Affinity Batmobile. There's a person who, uh, Michael Friedler, he found this Mustang. 
he's got a picture of this Mustang with the base of the Laguna Seca. Let me get it closer so you can see. See how it's got that uh, big scoop on the front there? Whereas normally it's supposed to have uh, no big scoop. It's just got this low profile bumper. Well, he's got one of these cars with that base. So, uh, you know, I have no reason to doubt it's an authentic find. I'm just letting you know, when you're out in your searches, look for this car to see if it happens to have this base. Look for that bug to see if it has a metal pipe. Look for the uh, affinity if you want uh, variations. Look for both of the tail fins. Good luck. Can't even find, really hard to find one, period. And uh, if you like the obscure, maybe get yourself a uh, pink synchro. Or if you find one, let me know. Just kind of interesting to talk about. Have fun and happy hunting. Bye-bye.